With this video, I'd like to introduce concha blanks and dies that I make. Uh, the blanks are available either in this point and scallop, the scallop, or round rim versions. Sizes are available from this little three quarters of an inch to three inch in quarter inch increments. Materials that I offer would be sterling, 25% sterling overlay, brass, or nickel. My standard thicknesses that I use and offer are 16 and 18 gauge. Um, these tabs, I'll explain those. I added those to my cutout design. I use them to grab with a small pair of vice grips um, when I'm polishing them. Just give you something extra to hang on to, especially these little ones. They're so easy to not only burn your fingers, but have your buffing wheel grab it and fling it to the back of the cabinet. Been there and done that many times before I did this. Um, my process is after I polish them and cut the tabs off, um, I'll lightly spray a white primer on it. You can see the, I've taken a pencil and with using the die, I marked the outside circumference of that dome that's going to eventually be there. Um, it's ready for my engraving layout at this point. Um, I've glued this to a wood disc. That's how I hold it in my engraving ball. Um, these blanks I'll either offer them flat like this or domed, but it's a huge advantage to engrave them flat. For any engraver, it's going to be a big advantage. And you can do some pretty cool stuff on these bigger ones. I not only put initials or brands on them um, before I dome them out, but as far as an engraving pattern, you can run flowers out onto your rim off of the dome or leaf that starts on the dome and out onto the rim. It just gives you another avenue of being, you know, have a little artistic flair. Um, so probably the big question is how do you protect um, your engraving surface or a polished back like this one? This is gonna be a scarf slide. And to do that, all you do is add this clear adhesive back film. I add it to the back of what I want to protect or to the face of the die. And the way these dies assembled, um, this is a half inch base and then this brass piece is simply a guide to hold that blank centered. And then you um, put the lid on and four screws. So this one's ready to punch out by hand. These dies will be available either for use with a hand punch or using a hydraulic press. Now these hand punches, um, each die will come with a corresponding male end and they all fit into the same handle. The hydraulic press dies, um, they will come with this die or the press lid it has a male end on the back and it simply drops over these guide pins. And all these components have a hole drilled. I put it at the upper right hand corner so I know when I'm assembling it all the pieces are going correct together correctly. And that's the, the way that all this was machined. So I'll go off camera for just a second and I'll show you how to punch these out by hand first. So what I have here is a two inch, two and a quarter inch concho blank on mounted inside this die. You saw me put the die together. It's like this one. The back is polished with the clear film on the back. The front's fully engraved and the clear film is on the face of the die itself. And we just start punching out. I like to do a little bit in the center first. It's not a big hammer. It doesn't take a big force to get this started. This is 18 gauge sterling, 16 gauge, you're going to feel a little more resistance. Nickel, you're going to feel more resistance, but I've been punching them all out by hand for years and this is really easy to do. 
I recently built this hydraulic press and it's pretty slick too, but there's certainly nothing wrong with doing it by hand. It's a piece of cake. So I start that center dome and then I start working the edges and you'll notice this male die doesn't fit edge to edge. There's some clearance and there's an advantage to that. Um, you can walk it around as you're hammering it and, and dome the edges out in small sections. If it was full size, it's pretty easy to go crooked and then you're correcting it. Where this way, you're doing a little bit at a time and it doesn't take a whole lot. So as I'm hammering it, I'm turning it, but I'm, I'm traveling around that um, outside edge of that hole in the die. So when you look at it and get your light just right, you can look at, at the, the edge and you can catch the reflection to see if you've domed it all evenly. If you spot a spot where the reflection has a, you know, it'll just show, show you that it's not quite domed fully. And that's really easy to spot. Just go back and do a little more. Pretty nice. Darn nice. So the next one is a inch and a half. That changes mail piece. Same thing, start a little bit in the center. and work the edges. These conchos with the string slots in them, before you dome them, they look kind of small for the typical saddle string. And they do expand as you dome these out. Depending on the thickness of your saddle string, you may want to file them a little bit bigger, but I'd rather start too small than have them god awful big. I hate it when those conchos kind of rotate on the strings. Looks good. In this point and scallop pattern, I didn't fully engrave the rim yet. All my cuts are going to go from the outside to the dome, so it's easier to make those cuts after it's domed. The next one is this little three quarter inch. This doesn't take much of a whack at all. And this male end fits pretty snugly. Um, it just works better having it kind of full size on this one. And it doesn't take much, so you darn sure don't want to overdo it. 
is you'll actually reach a point where you're sharing through it. So that looks good. These days I'm going to cut off a piece of Allen wrench and stick it in my drill and sure speed this part up. But after all these years, why change? Ready to go. So I'll put these dies together with these other blanks I have yet to punch out and I'll show you how to use the hydraulic press. So I have blanks mounted in these dies again and this time I'll show you how to use the hydraulic press. Um, this again is a two and a quarter inch. It's a scarf slide. The back is polished. I have clear film on the back. The front's engraved. I have clear film on the face of the die. Um, so we have this press plate that goes with these dies for use with the hydraulic press. Again, it, it, it travels on these alignment pins and I always put that index hole in the upper right hand corner to make sure it's the right part where it's lined up correctly. I just seat it fairly well. Nice low dome concho. Now for the inch and a half. These are sex saddle string conchos, so the back isn't finished, but the front is. There again, clear film on the face of the die. I just recently built this little press. It's really easy to build, but it sure is nice to have. have a die for a ranger buckle that I've made for many years and before this press I used to put it on my anvil and take a big hammer to it to press it closed and this press makes it so easy to do this is a three-quarter inch One time at that Ranger buckle die, I decided I was going to try to press it and I put a hydraulic jack under my pickup which sat on a concrete slab, put the die under the jack, jacked the pickup completely off the ground and when I let it down and opened up the die, it hardly made a dent in that um, buckle blank. This jack is 20 ton. It's probably overkill, definitely overkill for most things, but it's sure nice to have the power. And when I pressed out those buckle blanks, I mean, it doesn't even ask any questions. It just does it.
These days I'm going to make a new handle. That one's kind of tacky. Sometimes you got to loosen these up pretty good for it to travel. Ready to go. Finish engraving, solder a wood screw on the back. Done. Well, anyhow, thanks for watching. That's all there is to it. Um, my contact information will follow when I shut this video off. Um, there's no website as yet, but there's a Facebook business page and an email. Well, thanks for watching.